Hello! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Melissa if you're new here and today I have a haul for you guys. A kids consignment haul. So I love shopping at kids consignment sales. I can find such good deals for my kids and I can I also have a video that I will link above that I sell at a kid, the same kids consignment sale and I just love them all around. I get to buy clothes used, reuse clothes, give my clothes back to the community. I can get clothes for cheap and shoes and other things and so let's get into my haul. I forgot to mention, if you are new here, please subscribe if you would like to stick around and see my videos. I make videos about my life, motherhood, and money, so if you're interested in that, I do appreciate that. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and comment down below if you've ever been shopping at a Kins consignment sale, or any type of consignment sale or if you would like to. All of those things help my channel so much. Okay, so for my youngest, I really, I did not need anything. Oh, I needed a couple shoes for her. But I didn't need any clothes because I do save the clothes from my older daughter. But I was in the section looking for my niece and I saw these couple things and I just had to get them. So I did. So, um, here we go. This super cute, and the fabric is so, so soft. It is like a, it's a dress. There's no, like, shorts or anything under it, but it's polo. It's polo, and I paid $2.25 for this. Yes. So it's a, it's a 2T. And so, um, at this kids consignment sale, and a lot of them that I've gone to, there are specific days that are half off, so if the seller puts that they want it to go half off, then it goes half off. And that's usually when I shop because you find the best deals there. So most of this stuff was half off, um, and I'm telling you the price that I actually paid. This one, I thought it was just adorable for springtime and like Easter. And it was a dollar fifty. The brand is J Khaki Girls. And then my grandma, my nanny, she calls me Ladybug, and I just couldn't pass this outfit up. So it was two twenty five. Also, and it's like it's by Carter's and it has ladybugs and then some matching pants and that's an older size so i'll save that for her so it was 3t and then moving into my second i just needed a few things for her so i needed a couple more shorts for her 5t um and i was able to find everything i needed so i got a pair of khaki circo for a dollar I got the soft blue pair uh, by Jimbery for a dollar also. And then I got two pairs of black shorts. One of them is jumping beans and the, oh, they're both jumping beans. And these were two for a dollar, so only 50 cents each. And so that was everything I needed for her in that size. And then moving on to size six. I got several shirts. Uh, this Faded Glory was a dollar and it has like some cute little sparkles and stuff and it it looks brand new. I mean, very good. I was very happy with that one. I got this Art Class Ruffle Top. Look how cute that is for $1.75. And I got this champion size six just like workout type of blue shirt oh and this one yeah this one still has the tag on it it's by Tracy Trace mm. I know I got that wrong um, and oh it looks like they paid 
only two dollars at TJ Maxx, brand new. But I got it for a dollar, just a plain blue shirt. So I liked that. And then I also got this eh, I'm the Birthday Girl shirt. It's a children's place for 75 cents. And I got this pink Wonder Nation for a dollar. And then I got oops, one pair of shorts for 50 cents. I think these are Wonder Nation gray shorts for 50 cents. I got a little like cardigan um, for 75 cents. I like to put these over some dresses sometimes. And I got one pair of like jeggings, uh, carters for a dollar. And this cute, cute dress, a Stella and Sienna for uh, $2. It's, it's a longer one too. It's very cute. And then my daughter loves to wear, and we will put her back into gymnastics, but she loves to wear gymnastic suits or leotards um, or like dance leotards. And so I got her two of these. So I got this for $2 and this cutie for $2.50. So that is everything I got her clothes wise. And, you know, don't forget to shop the junior section. You may find something for yourself. I have no idea. This doesn't really have a brand, but um, this was $3 and it's very soft. And I scored it for myself. A treat for me. So I did get. A little bit more for my son because I found some really good stuff in size 8, which is his next size. So let's see. Let's go over the 7 first. Okay, size 7, which he's just getting into. I got these old navy denim shorts for $2.50. I got these Jim Marie ones for $1.50 got these yellow I thought they were really cool I like yellow Nautica shorts for two dollars I think he'll like them too he likes colors like me and I got these Gap Kids oh these are slim which is perfect I didn't see that before but that's perfect for him for $2.25 and one pair of gym shorts for two dollars and these are I don't Nike they said so they're Nike so then going into size 8, uh, which is his next size, I got several good finds. So I found, actually I found this, okay, this is a little bit bigger of a shirt. It's a medium, so I'm not sure when he'll be able to wear this, but if that was $2. It's a uh, dry fit Nike one, and then I got this mini Bowden shark shirt he loves the color orange I think those were the only oh no no, no. I got a couple other t-shirts okay so let's see I also got these two t-shirts so just a plain shirt for 75 cents I know you can find these but I thought 75 cents was good it didn't have any stains on it and then I got this Sean White for $2. And then I got two more like collared shirts, dressier. So this Cat and Jack for a dollar. And this uh, Jimbery with some Old Navy shorts for three dollars for both of those together so 175 each and then I got a short sleeve dress shirt for 50 cents and this is polo 50 cent polo shirt thought that was pretty good they price their stuff like me I price like a one dollar one dollar and then oh did I oh this is a seven eight uh, this uh, children's place sweater was two fifty, and then I got several gym shorts. I like to have 
some gym shorts for him. So this was a dollar, dollar fifty, one dollar, one dollar. You know, I like. It's like they're gonna be playing in these. Why spend more than that? And then I also, so this is where I was like, wow, I really was glad that I found all of these shorts because he's set for size eight shorts now. Um, so this is a J khaki, authentic J khaki red shorts for $1.50. These children's place blue shorts for $2.50. These are like, they are like athletic. I, I don't know, my husband has gotten shorts like these and they are like kind of a little bit of stretchy and very, very soft. These are Puma, I guess they call them golf shorts. This is what this person called them. But for 250, I was like, yes, that's what I need. I got these khaki, um, J khaki for $1.75. And then same type of material on these. These are also J khaki, these green shorts for $2. So I am set on shorts for him for that size. And then I got two short sleeve. Oh, I got a couple other well, short sleeve t-shirts. So I got two short sleeve dress shirts because he like like I like to have these for springtime for church. And so this is Urban Pipeline for $2. This is a little bit bigger. Um, and then this one is a Mamo, ma, 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 so. Massimo, I guess is how you say it, for $2. Oh, that was pretty cute. And then I got two long sleeve dress shirts, one uh, kind of funner one that's Gap Kids for two dollars and then I love to have a white one this is Old Navy for a dollar seventy five and then I got him one pair of khaki dress pants for a dollar seventy five and these I, I got I found two more t-shirts um, this one is by Cherokee for a dollar fifty and this one is F Fission for a dollar fifty also so I was very happy with it. When I went to check out, the ladies were like, wow, you found a lot of older kids' clothes. Because usually it's very sparse. So let's just get into, and I love, so when I go consignment shopping, I bring my reusable bags. These ones are my Sam's Club, but I also have some Ikea ones. They are the best. So I got this. I have never tried one like this with my kids, but we're gonna try it out. It says less than 30 pounds. It's, I don't even know what brand it is. Oh, let's see. Stairns? I don't know. It says infant. So my daughter's like 18 months. I don't think she's quite big enough for the puddle jumper thing. And so I want, we're going to the beach and we have a pool and we need something. So this was 750. I'm really hoping it works out well. And then I bought this huge bag of bows for $5. And I am definitely not going to use all of these bows, but I'm going to pick out the ones that I want and then put the other ones back in a bag and sell them at the next one because this is way too many bows. I don't need this many. My daughter doesn't need this many, but bows are expensive. So I was happy with that. Let's go into a couple books that I got before we do the last thing, which is shoes. I bought this How to Catch an Elf for 25 cents. Very cute Christmas book. I'll put it away for Christmas. And then I got two reading books, level two reader books uh, for 50 cents for both of them. One is a Scooby-Doo and one's a Superman. I bought... Uh, my son has never played Minecraft, but I thought he would like to like look through this. It's kind of a Minecraft construction handbook, and so I thought that was cute, and it was only a dollar, so I got that. And then I got this for 50 cents, Helpful and Harmful Insects. We love to learn about different things, and so I got that. Now, shoes, and we'll be done. So I needed um, a couple for my daughter, my youngest, I said, um, you know, she 
need some sandals for the summertime and I'm pretty sure she's going to be moving up in size. I got these um, toddler tennis shoes for 50 cents and then I got these um, stride right sandals for 250. She does, her feet fit really well in stride right and I thought those were very cute sandals. And then I also, oh, I saw these because, oh, these are, oh yeah, these are Livy and Luca. Um, and so these look a lot like, they're not, her other ones aren't Livy and Luca, but these look a lot like the ones that she wears all the time now. And so these were $2.50, $2.50 for Livy and Luca. I mean, you can tell they've been worn, but they're not like super worn. So I was super happy with that. You know what that brand is. And then she also needed some water shoes in her size because my daughter, my my first daughter was in, it was like winter time whenever she was in the same size. So I didn't have water shoes or sandals for that. And so these were $1.75. And then, oh, also I got her a pair of dress shoes because she loves wearing her sisters and they are just way too big and they fall off and so these were two dollars they are Rapunzel and then I only got one pair of shoes for my daughter and these are if you don't know what these are they're just you I don't know I mean nothing but it's pretty cool if you know. So these are also Livy and Luca. They're just really nice quality. They bend really well. Shoes and they're super expensive. I should look up to see how much these are normally. Maybe I'll put it right here. But I got them for $10. I was pretty happy because they look brand new. And then my son, I just got a couple. He needed some uh, water shoes this size. So $1.50. And then some flip-flops for a dollar. And then I got some church shoes in his next size. These ones, I normally get black church shoes, but I saw these. And they are, uh, what, they're stride right for, I got six, for six dollars. They look really easy to put on. And they're, I think, nice enough to wear to church. Especially because I got khaki pants. So they'll match that very well. So uh, in total, I paid $115 and I forgot to add up how many pieces I had. I will put that here and how much I paid like average per piece. I was pretty happy with all of the prices that I paid. Um, but thank you for sticking around and seeing my haul. I personally love watching these and seeing what good deals people get. And hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will see y'all next time.